I'm uh, uh, the president and CEO of Internet2, and Internet2 is the U.S. organization that provides the network capabilities in the United States that are similar to what Jayant provides uh, uh, to Europe. And uh, uh, we're sort of the national research and education network for the United States. Uh, Jayant links a number of national networks together in Europe. We link a number of state and regional networks together in the U.S. Uh, environment. From the very beginning, it was clear that the research community is global. And so it was important that we uh, collaborate with our, with our uh, partners uh, across the various oceans. And our uh, closest collaborations have always been with the Europeans. What we do is we first of all collaborate on making sure our networks interoperate so that a researcher in the United States can work with a researcher in Europe as if they were uh, in the same, on the same continent. It's been a, a real delight to work with our colleagues in Jayant and to watch them uh, manage uh, all of the necessary collaborations within Europe that uh, have resulted in uh, this launch um, and all the work that's gone before it. Um, it's a very complex environment uh, over here. Uh, and <clears throat> one of the very interesting things that Internet2 uh, depends on Jayant for is to make sure that uh, they coordinate uh, and help us uh, deal with this. If, if Internet2 had to sort of have individual relationships with every one of the national research networks in Europe, it would be almost impossible to link uh, the research community together. But uh, Jayant provides us with the glue that helps us understand and, 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 and work with all of these network uh, leaders, leaders in, in Europe. The most recent collaboration is in some ways uh, the most interesting. Um, and the problem, of course, is that when a researcher in Europe wants to access a library in the United States or vice versa, or uh, a person wants to use a radio telescope in Hawaii who's located in Europe, then what we have to do is develop uh, a means of reliably and robustly identifying people in a secure way. And so we've done a lot of joint work on identity management. Much of the intellectual impetus for that came from work in the United States, but the most uh, aggressive deployment of the resulting work has been in Europe. And so now the United States is learning from the Europeans how to deploy uh, uh, technologies that were started out in the United States. It's a, it's a fascinating kind of interplay across the Atlantic. What we really want to do uh, between Europe and the United States is create an environment where the uh, services that the scientists and researchers and students and faculty need are transparent. Um, they're called the same thing in, in, uh, wherever they are in the world. Uh, they're used in the same way wherever they are in the world. So that when a scientist uh, uh, talks to a collaborator in another country someplace else in the world about doing something, they've got a common vocabulary, a common way of doing things, and frankly, a common, at least a, a sensibly um, a reasonable financial model so they can figure out how to do that. I think the uh, most important signal that Jayant, Internet2, and other collaborations like it, like them around the world uh, really deliver is that a community that works openly to develop uh, new technology, uh, to deploy it, um, uh, not so much for profit, but for the benefit of humanity, uh, really can uh, have an enormous impact. Um, an awful lot of the work that we've done at Internet2, that Jayant has done, uh, has been work that no company would have uh, sensibly sponsored. Um, but it has had an enormous impact, not just on the way science is done, but on the way we use the Internet today. Because many of the things that are now commonplace in the Internet were actually developed, uh, first of all, in these national research and education networks. Uh, one example of that is video conferencing. Um, uh, video conferencing uh, was first uh, founded in this higher education community and now, it's, now everybody is chatting with one another with uh, video conferencing. So I think we're going to see a continuing evolution uh, that's built on the health of organizations like Jayant.